How's it going? Wow, well, good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time I got you. Uh, got some pizza here. And this made a year look just like pizza. However, well, it is pizza. But the box, this is a pretty valuable thing we got right here. And uh, I'm just going to grab my breakfast. I'm going to change my clothes. And then we're going to make ourselves a little slower cooker out of this pizza box right here. So stay tuned. Pizza is, of course, very delicious. Lots of people like to eat it. And every year, lots and lots and lots of these, that's a scientific number, get thrown away. But you can actually take it and make it into something that actually will cook food in the future. So that's what we're going to do today. Now for this project, of course, we need a pizza box. You also need foil. This is our aluminum foil that we have. You also need plastic wrap. Now one tip. This plastic wrap is like the industrial size. We've been using this roll of plastic wrap for three years. Um, so if you combine it in the industrial size, you'll save yourself some money and you'll also help save the environment, cut down on the waste that you might use by having individual small rolls. So if you can get a big roll, get a big roll. A razor blade knife and you'll need some glue. You can use regular Elmer's glue. Rubber cement will probably also work very well. That's everything we need too. One thing you can do after you get the whole project done or before you start really probably, you could paint it black so that the box itself will actually absorb more heat. Um, but you don't have to do that in order to get the thing to cook. One of the nice things about these pizza box solar cookers too is that they're super easy. So you can do it actually in about the time it takes you to eat a whole pizza. Now if you don't eat a whole pizza, well, figure how long it would take somebody. That's about how long it takes to make a solar cooker out of a pizza box. So we're going to start by cutting a hole out of the top of the pizza box. And we're only going to cut it on three sides. We're not going to cut all four sides. We're going to leave the back part. But we're going to cut three sides of our pizza box here. And that's all we have to do there. And then we're going to take this flap that we just created and we're going to line this with aluminum foil. So we'll put some glue on this surface and then we'll put uh, foil over the top of that. Now if you want to worry about making it exact, you can. Uh, I'm not being real exact here, but you can get the idea of how this is going to work. Now, if at all possible, you want to smooth out as many of the wrinkles as you can here. You want to make sure that this is as reflective of the surface as it can be. So, that's good enough for me. And that's what this will look like when it opens up. We'll have a reflective surface here. So next, we need to line the bottom of the box with aluminum foil as well. Do you remember when you were in elementary school? Did you ever have a teacher that said, a little dab will do ya, a little dab will do ya, a little dab will do ya, a little dab will do ya? All right, now comes the only part that could be just a little difficult, and that's getting the plastic wrap around here, because what we want to do is make it so that the plastic actually forms a nice tight seal over the top of here. So we want to make sure that we get a nice good seal over that, otherwise we'll have a, a solar cooker that leaks air and we don't want that. That's going to create this, the place that the sun's actually going to shine through and kind of creates the effect that will actually cook our food inside of the cooker here. And then we have it in about the amount of time it takes to eat a pizza. 
you can make your own pizza box cooker. You put the food right in here, right on top of here, and then you hold this open. Now that's the only other thing we'll need to get from outside is a stick of some kind that will hold this box open. Uh, but other than that, then we'll just angle it at the sun and let the sun's light actually cook our food. And you can test this actually to make sure this is going to work with a laser pointer. Here, come down inside of here with me for a second and we'll see how this works. So that's it. Give this a shot because in the time you eat a whole pizza, you can make one of these and you can cook your food for free using the sun. So that's it. That's the whole cooker. And uh, make sure you check out the link at the end of this video, actually right below me here, there's probably a link. And you can go check that out um, and see how these cookers actually performed. We took this one and compared it with a few others and to see how they perform uh, when they're put outside on the same day using similar test conditions. Go and check that out. Thanks for watching. Pizza's yummy. I like it. See, this one's got olives and mushrooms and tomatoes and peppers. So that's about how long it takes to make a, a box cooker out of. If you got any pizza in there, just throw it out. A little damn will do ya. A little damn will do ya. Or better yet, you can put it outside in your garden and uh, let it kind of go into the ground and it'll turn into some nice fertilizer for your garden. A little damn will do ya. So we're going to go ahead and put that plastic wrap on here now and uh, go ahead and that's going to create our surface or our that's going to create the, the place that the sun... So that's it. Next time you enjoy a pizza, uh, you'll want to see... At the end of the video, we've got a... 